Hi, and welcome to The Property Show. Every Sunday, we feature properties in every price range, interior decor trends, and insights on beautifying a space, inspiring experiences on getting onto the property ladder, as well as events shaping the real estate sector. Today, we are back. I'll be exploring prime residential plots available in the market. I'll also be sharing a highlight on our ongoing Upscale Homes Budget Solution Project on our Property Pick of the Week. The Expert Segment unveils Crown Paint Showroom featuring user-friendly products. In response to the market's demand for quality products, Crown Paints has unveiled showrooms around the country. The property news captures conversations held at the just concluded Africa Housing Forum 2022, hosted by Habitat for Humanity. We have a contract that is currently running of uh, doing 400 kilometers of uh, infrastructure within uh, a number of settlements, that is water, sewer, etc. And again, that is funded by the government of Kenya. The accessory spot brings ideas on how to glam your home with plants. Our favorite home ownership segment shares nuggets on getting onto the property ladder. You sleep nicely. Yeah, you just look, if you have Ugali and uh, today with, uh, with Boga, that's enough for you. At least you have your own home and you are happy about it. And finally, snippets on other investment opportunities available in the market, courtesy First Avenue, your real estate partner. Our digital platforms are open. Let's interact. Send in your questions comments. You can also book our calendar to view any of the projects featured on this platform. As always, there is something for everyone. Are you looking for prime residential plots available in the market? Then sit back, relax, because today I'm exploring a collection of prime residential plots with ready documentation you can buy and build a home. things first, an update on the ongoing upscale homes budget solution. This project reflects what we offer. When I began the property show journey, one area that has the largest gap is solutions for plots. What do I mean? Most of us have plots, but for some reason we have never built on them and they remain idle. Guess what? During the peak of COVID-19, most of us started thinking of how we can add value and build on those plots. Let me bring it closer home. The Upscale Homes Budget Project we have highlighted on this platform belongs to a couple living in the diaspora. Ben and Winnie, they have been watching this show for years. During the COVID season, they decided to build a dream home. And guess who they reached out to? The property show. Our process is easy. First, we have several ready architectural designs to choose from.
secondly, you engage our consortium who take you through the process. And once we have ticked all the boxes, the project begins. Where are we now? Currently, the shell, which is the first stage of the construction, is complete. We are now on the second stage, which includes fixing the frame, steel and timber works, the windows and all the doors. That will be followed by plaster work, screening of the floor, tile work, painting, cabinetry and sanitary fit out. The last stage of the construction includes the external works, water storage, driveway and voila, the project will be complete. Why work with the property show and First Avenue, our real estate arm, to turn your plot into a dream home? We offer a one-stop service which gives you peace of mind all the way. We take away all the construction hassle. We work with financial partners for project finance too. Secondly, we get all approvals from the relevant authorities on your behalf. We also coordinate the professionals and contractor. The icing on top, we manage the procurement of materials, construction workers, and day-to-day -day financial expenditure. In a nutshell, we manage the construction from inception all the way to completion. Unbelievable. Next, today I'm exploring a collection of prime residential plots with ready documentation you can buy and build a home immediately. To kick us off is Relish Gardens. Welcome to Relish Gardens. This project we are offering quarter acre plots that you are selling at 13.5 million shillings. And have you sold many plots? Oh yes, we have. We've currently sold a total number of 21, which is actually the 50%, and we have 19 plots remaining. It's a good place, and it's a gated community within a gated community. Oh yes, it is. As you can see, Kawaskari is quite developed, and it's a very nice neighborhood for someone to come and invest. Wow. If you were to compare to other neighborhoods, what would you call this neighborhood? I'd call this beautiful and serene, and a nice place to have a home settlement. And you're not doing less than a quarter? No, it's only a quarter. That's the maximum you can go in terms of going below. But you can do half an acre, you or can one do acre. an acre. <laughs> yes. Supposing somebody wants to buy here and is wondering, where do I take my children to school? We are actually bordering a school and we have a number of schools that are surrounding us. We have convenience stores that are around, shopping malls that are actually like a kilometre away and a police station that is like 500 metres away from us. Yeah. Interesting. Who are the buyers who bought into this project? From what I've observed, our current homeowners are uh, mainly clients from diaspora, people who are abroad and want to come back home to a beautiful place. And also we have people who want to build retirement homes. Yes, someone who wants to retire in a very quiet and serene place, but still within Nairobi. And also we have people who are long-term investors. Yes. Oh, people who yes. are buying for speculation. For speculation. We are also seeing a few young families that want to build here. If I want to buy a plot, take me through the mode of payment. We have a very friendly mode of payment. One, you can buy cash within 90 days. Two, we have a very friendly payment mode of 24 months, spread across 24 months. Two and, years. Yes, two years. And three, we have banks that we are working with, mainly ABSA, that can give you a very nice package for our clients. Let's talk about water, yes. electricity, yes. sewer, all the amenities that are ideal for a modern family. Do you have them? We have all that. We actually have water installed to each plot. You can see we have green pipes yes. on each plot. So that's the bubble water that has already been installed. We have electricity. We already have fiber. 
and you can see already we have an on-site sewer line and a very well done drainage system. Yes. So you have everything? Everything. It's buy and build. Nancy, thank you so much for coming and I'll see you at the bus stop. I would like to welcome all of you for the open day. It will be a wonderful day. Please make sure you show up. And also, if you want to visit us before then, we are always available. Relish Gardens is a gated community in Kahawa Sukari. It is a 10-acre piece of land divided into 40 plots and each plot is a quarter acre. So if you're a homeowner out there, you need to come and get your piece before we run out of plots. Our homeowners will get water, electricity, sewerage, 24-hour security and our perimeter wall. We also have a backup alarm system and the access roads are already done. We are located in Kahawa Sukari, exactly one kilometer from Tethika Superhighway, off Garissa Road at 3rd South Avenue. Let me confirm that these are serviced plots and the title deed for each plot is ready. Remember, at Relish Gardens, this is a controlled development and your children will be safe here. Relish Gardens is your place of serenity. Our upcoming signature bus tour will be visiting this plot too. Would you like to see this project? Save the dates and book your seat. Next, a project located in Rongai, Savannah Park, just one kilometer away from the new SGR railway station. Each plot comes with ready title deed, electricity, internet connectivity, borehole water, and roads connecting to all plots. Let's take a look. Savannah Park Rongai is located in the outskirts of Ongata Rongai town, which is one of the satellite towns 10 kilometers northwest of Nairobi city. The property is near the road linking Ongata Rongai, Nazarene University and the new SGR station. The road from the SGR to Savannah Park is graded to Maram standard and is just a five minute drive to the entrance gate. Savannah Park Rongai has 200 plots located one kilometer from the new Rongai Kisarian SGR railway station and three kilometers from Nazarene University. The plots are suitable for residential homes due to the close proximity to the famous Vrimpa Conservancy. They also offer a beautiful view of Gong Hills. The plots are fully serviced with piped water, a borehole and electricity on site. Each individual plot is fenced after payment is complete. The site and service land scheme also has a plan of three and four bedroom missionettes with a team of professionals to help jumpstart your home ownership journey. This comes at a separate fee. you're looking to buy your first home or simply want to spread your wings and grow your investment portfolio at first avenue we open a whole world of choice with our extensive range of projects in every price range crown paints has a state-of-the-art showroom in westlands Lavington and Likoni Road where they showcase various products ideal for the residential and commercial property market. Let's find out more on what they have in store for us. Crown Paints. If you like it, 
crown it. Since 2013, we've managed to handle uh, projects ranging from small do-it-yourself projects to major interior and exterior design projects. In this showroom, we have a variety of products ranging from interior flat paints to exterior textured finishes. Under this roof, we also have a sister company called Crown Marble and Quartz, where we deal with architectural floor coverings, wall claddings, countertops. These items range from marble uh, to granite to quartz to onyx. We also have Dr. Fix It with us, and they deal with construction chemicals and waterproofing. Consumers in Kenya's property market have become more and more sophisticated, and day by day they are demanding for high quality products to ensure the security and safety of their property. In response to the market's demand for quality products, Crown Paints has unveiled showrooms around the country and I would like to take this opportunity to show you around the one that we are currently in. So right here we have our multi-purpose uh, disinfectant. Uh, we have hand sanitizers. This here are construction chemicals from Dr. Fixit. We mainly use them for waterproofing and sealing off the products. This here is our latest product. It's called Crown Granite Finish. It's a product that can be used for both interior and exterior purposes. It's inspired by natural granite. For example, uh, you can look at 1908 over here. So 1908 is inspired by red uh, granite. 1911 is inspired by gray uh, granite. Right here we have uh, Crown Metallica. This is an interior finished product that's inspired by metals. It usually comes in gold, silver and copper. This product can be used to highlight interior feature walls. Right here we have our interior and exterior flat finishes. We have a wide selection of over 7,000 colors. Right here we have uh, Crown Candice. Crown Candice is a designer finish that comes in various finishes. For example, we have Nilam. Uh, we also have Argento, uh, we also have uh, Etnica, we have Trache. It comes in various forms, uh, shades and colors. Special finishes need special products for application. So right here we have uh, some of the tools that are used by our professionals to apply this particular product. I would like to show you some of our product packages. We have uh, our Vesta Economy Grade Paint, we have our Cover Mat, Super Gloss, Polyurethane Wood Seals, uh, Tyler Adhesives, we have Italia Series, we have the Wall Parties, we have Vinyl Mat Emulsions, we have Undercoats, exterior paints such as Silicon Extreme. This year is the packaging for Metallica. We also have Ultra Guard Silicon, which is one of our premium exterior products. Used mainly on exteriors because it has a way of protecting itself from the adverse effects of weather uh, because it has silicone. Most of the time you'll find that uh, you have, for example, a soft wood that you would like to give the look of a hardwood. That's where uh, Crown Timber Master comes in. It's a deep penetrating wood stain that also gives the wood some water resistance abilities, making it last longer on both exteriors and interiors. And just a guide, something that's meant for interiors can only be used on interiors. What is meant for exteriors can also be done on interiors. Right here we have our Crown Wood Finishes. We have a Crown Timber Master. We have crown aquava, we have uh, crown varnish stains, we also have uh, varnishes. So these products can be used whether it's interior or exterior. Right here we have the Italia series. Italia series comprises of four finishes. Our ones called Italia Wow, Italia Uno, Italia Uno Plus and Italia Due. They all come in various colors as you can see and uh, they are used in interiors for highlighting uh, feature walls, columns, and basically wherever else the client feels that uh, they want to. 
only that we can't use it on exterior. This here is Crown Rough and Tough. This is a product that can be used for both interiors and exteriors. It comes in three varying grit levels, the fine, normal and stoneless. They can also be uh, top coated with a variety of other products such as Metallica and our uh, various uh, flat paints. Due to the fact that technology is taking over everything, we have introduced our express painting tools. Uh, we call them smart tools. This here is an airless sprayer. It's been proven to bring down work that will take five hours to scale it down to 20 minutes. Due to the varying grit levels that I had just spoken about rough and tough, this here is a display of what exterior rough and tough would look like. It would have uh, deeper pits, it would have colors that are generally uh, meant for exteriors. That done, uh, I would like to show you our stone galleries uh, where we have our sister company Crown Marble and Quartz. So right here we have uh, the gallery for uh, Kalinga Stone. Uh, Kalinga Stone is a high quality Italian designer quartz. On this other side we have granite and we also have a different display here for marble. Crown marble and quartz also makes floor medallions for architectural interiors such as this one here. We also have a variety of uh, products that you can use for countertops, uh, flooring and wall cladding. Among us, the products and services that are conducted in Crown showrooms, we have Crown Your Space. Crown Your Space is a hassle-free painting service. This service takes care of everything from floor polishing, designer finish application, to waterproofing, and it's all done in-house. What I've shown you is just a slim selection of what we have right here, so you're welcome to see for yourself. Crown Paints. If you like it, crown it. Crown Paints showrooms in Westlands, Lovington and Likoni Road are designed as a one-stop shop for all your color solutions. It's time for a short break. Still ahead, the property news. So the challenge of informal settlements remains with us. There are efforts to improve the living conditions through upgrading because we realize informal settlements cannot be eradicated. The accessory spot. Our favorite home ownership segment. House that I finally fell in love with after seeing 26 something houses and then it goes off the table and then somebody else comes and says there's one available in the same court. So um, I came and I saw the house, I loved See, it. This is it. This was it. The property gallery. Don't touch that doll. We'll be right back after the break. You are not boring. Why should your walls be? Add depth and vibrance to your space with colors that come alive through crown textured paints. When you mean business, let your walls announce you without saying a word with the classy Italian and stylish effect from the crown canvas range. Your walls are a canvas. Express your passionate side with a dreamy and luxurious finish from the Crown Metallica range. Make a statement. The Crown range of textured paints, perfect for interior spaces and commercial exteriors. If you like it, crown it. Welcome. We are back. You're watching The Property Show, your trusted voice on all things real estate. Coming up, Last week, we highlighted conversations on the just-concluded a 
Africa Housing Forum 2022, hosted by Habitat for Humanity. Today, we continue on their vision of a world where everyone has a decent and a healthy place to call home. When COVID happened, uh, it came from the left side. I wonder, how then did it also impact and show the soft underbelly, particularly the affordable housing sector? We tended to respond to what was then a pure health problem with non-health or non-medical tools, one of them being fear that then cause divisions and exposed who we are. Mm -hmm. And we actually showed discrimination, in particular against informal settlements, mm -hmm. because we thought that there were no trade. So I think it exposed us. And maybe that's a good mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. because it then calls upon us to talk about the fierce agency of now mm -hmm. and say, never again. On the inf informal settlements, how big an impact was this also in South Africa? And how did it change you know, the lives of uh, people living in those informal settlements? When COVID-19 hit the world, I think the home became the site of prevention and the control of COVID-19. And the home has been the site for the prevention of other pandemics, uh, such as the HIV and AIDS uh, pandemic. Mm -hmm. And so we continue to see the centrality of the home in the prevention and control of diseases, mm -hmm. particularly infectious diseases. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the pandemic found us in a context where government has been implementing subsidized housing uh, since 1994. Mm -hmm. Until 2018-19, the government had delivered almost 4.6 million housing subsidies. That is to say, households were allocated subsidies and using these subsidies, some homes have been built, others were in progress uh, for construction when the pandemic hit. Mm -hmm. And um, we also had people living in informal settlements, others were homeless. Now, at present, I can say there are 2,600 informal settlements. Mm -hmm. About 1.4 million households live in informal settlements. The other area where there were interventions by local government was in the area of uh, the homeless people. When you visit cities, you find there are a lot of homeless people on the streets. And so local government authorities uh, provided temporary shelters. Basically, I'll be talking about uh, the responses and uh, how uh, slum dwellers reacted. Number one, even before the pandemic hit, you are looking at slum dwellers, people who are at the moment very marginalized, mm -hmm. no access to basic services yes. like water, mm -hmm. and no access to health facilities. Uh, if you look at the kind of housing conditions that they live in, uh, most of them are poor, deplorable, yes. lack of air. Mm -hmm. Most of them uh, don't have access even to the basic things that we take for granted, like toilet facilities. Mm -hmm. So I think when uh, COVID hit, COVID really amplified the challenges were that were already existing. When you look at areas like the informal settlements, you yes. cannot do social distancing. There was lockdown, so where were our slum dwellers to get food? They, were, they could not go to work. We also advocated for washing of hands. Where was the water to come from? Mm -hmm. So what we did as NMS, we had to do some emergency measures in terms of water. For example, I think those of us who are in Nairobi, I think we can see the massive boreholes that NMS has been able to do. We've done about 143 boreholes in Nairobi, and mainly these are in the informal settlements. We were also able to do uh, hand washing stations in several areas of the city, in markets, in slum areas, in schools, etc. And then uh, also in terms of health, because that was a pandemic and we also needed to address it in terms of health, mm -hmm. we also started now doing health facilities and I believe most of us in Nairobi can be able to see the health facilities that NMS has done. We've already done 24 health facilities in Nairobi which were not there before. Of course, there was also the issue of treatment and these facilities within NMS were actually able to treat about 200,000 people. I kindly broaden our understanding on how demographic factors 
explain the acuity of the housing uh, deficit in, in Africa. If uh, you look at what it takes to acquire a home, so we talked about the affordability gap, the cost of it. Not only is it about the money, but it's also about your own social capital. Mm -hmm. Are you bankable, we could ask. Who is bankable? Very few of us. And so we end up with um, a very uh, small mortgage market mm -hmm that only takes care of a very small population. We have people who cannot access affordable uh, financial uh, support that they can put into uh, purchasing property or developing their, uh, you know, their own properties. A lot of us, including those of us in this room, if we have built something, we have built it incrementally. Mm -hmm. Meaning that today we do a foundation, it takes a number of months, or sometimes even years to put the walls, and then sometimes we just come and put in a door. So it basically means that we are kind of looking for money in different ways, either from cooperatives, from our chamas, if you're mm -hmm. Kenyan you understand what that is, and the more challenged you are in accessing some income, the fewer uh, your opportunities for accessing housing. And so people in informal settlements, people in rural areas or suburban areas begin mm -hmm. to face that. And so are young people, because they have nothing to their name. Mm -hmm. So if they needed to get anything uh, from the bank, the bank has nothing to, you know. And this is where the challenge in terms of innovations need to come in about beginning to relook at this idea of security. Mm -hmm. Must security be a piece of land? Must security be a title deed? What are the other innovative ways that we need to begin looking at? A tease out from uh, your seminal work, Dr. Catherine, uh, which I've mentioned before, the baseline assessment for future impact evaluation of informal settlement targeted for upgrading, basically in South Africa. Would you care to tell us, when you did this baseline study and the survey, how is the issue of the financial inclusion especially for the informal settlement, uh, was being addressed. We were developing baseline indicators for the monitoring and evaluation of um, informal settlement upgrading mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. program, which is a program of government um, where financing is provided by government to upgrade informal settlements. And, and so what has happened is... Um, during COVID, what government did was to provide um, about 4.6 billion mm -hmm. for the upgrading of informal settlements mm -hmm. when COVID hit. And in fact, in the same period, the government provided 831 million rand for emergency housing of vulnerable groups. These are mainly women, children, and the elderly. And another 600 million was provided to tenants of social housing. Mm -hmm. And all these are low-income uh, groups. And so what we know about informal settlements is most of the residents are women, young women with young children, and, and therefore informal settlements house the most vulnerable groups in society. Now, when the pandemic hit, what we saw was an increase in hunger mm -hmm. and in the worsening of the living conditions of the people in informal settlements. That is because jobs were lost. The people who live in informal settlements work in very insecure occupations such as domestic work, temporary work, and so on. And because there was no work during the different levels of lockdown, particularly lockdown level five, where it was total economic lockdown and nobody was supposed to move out of their homes to go to work, so domestic workers could not even get any income. People were hungry. Mm. Department of Social Development assisted with providing food parcels. NGOs also assisted, but it was not really enough. Mm. So people still slept hungry. So the challenge of informal settlements remains with us. Their efforts to improve the, the living conditions through upgrading because we realize informal settlements cannot be eradicated. By 2040, it is estimated that Africa is expected to have the largest workforce in the world. I'm inclined to wonder how is the capital city of Kenya, Nairobi, preparing for this reality? Let me say, uh, one, 
Uh, we have already prepared the Nairobi Integrated Urban Development Master Plan. The last plan that was there in Kenya was 1973, yes. but Nairobi now has a new plan, which we call New Plan. And that plan actually looks at the future of Nairobi, not just now. And all programs that Nairobi County and the uh, Nairobi Metropolitan Services are now doing are actually aligned to the plan. Let me answer that question twofold. Eh? Uh, one, I'll look at uh, the slums, what we are doing and what the future is. For sustainability, the government has also committed funds now for slums. Uh, for Mukuru settlement, for example, we are currently undertaking works, uh, water, sewerage, uh, roads, uh, electricity, uh, and these are purely funded by the government of Kenya. And I think it's a big benefit for the slum dwellers of Mukuru, for example, because I don't think there's any other slum in Kenya where people are even now connected to Siwa. Mm -hmm. And that is happening through the efforts of NMS. Eh? Uh, we are also currently also undertaking other works. We have a contract that is currently running of uh, doing 400 kilometers of uh, infrastructure within uh, a number of settlements, that is water, sewer, etc. And again, that is funded by the government of Kenya. Are you hosting a product launch, open days, bus tours, expos, activations, and events in the real estate sector? This segment is for you. Just give us a call and we'll feature the event right here. Next, ideas on how to glam your home with plants, the accessory spot. How to introduce plants in a home and commercial space. Plants add color, improve the quality of air in your space, creates a lovely accent as well as provide depth to an otherwise plain space. There are several plants to choose from for a home or commercial space with minimal maintenance needed. They include different species of palm, flowering plants like lily, orchid, cactus and fern. It's however important to understand and assess your requirement to introduce a plant in the space. Think of the area where to place the plants. Positioning of the plant is what will determine the aesthetic value of the plant and whether or not the plant will survive. Consider, is the area close to the windows with availability of direct sunlight? Does the place remain moist throughout the day or dry? It is also important to consider what will house the plants. Containers housing a plant indoors are often used as an accessory. Select a container that best fits your taste, or even better, custom make a container that describes your personality. A garden bed can also be used in place of a container. Garden beds can be designed on the terrace, under the staircase, and courtyard. Note, consider if the place has good drainage system to avoid water clogging when watering the plants. You can also introduce plant focal walls. Focal walls are large displays typically utilizing mural or tastefully done wallpaper which can evoke feelings of being outdoors without actually bringing in the dirt. These can boost morale on a cold, grey day and with appropriate lighting can even help individuals with seasonal affective disorder. Every week, the accessory spot highlights creative home designs, decorating and remodeling ideas. 
Do you have a cutting edge product you'd like to showcase on this segment? Just drop us an email and we'll be happy to feature it right here. Next, nuggets from homeowners on getting onto the property ladder. My home ownership uh, journey started um, over about four years ago, um, a little bit over four years ago. And actually, I started thinking about it um, uh, before I was ready to, to actually buy. You started dreaming. Yes, yes. Oh, and actually, to be honest, like you're saying, I started dreaming way more than four years ago. Mm -hmm. So the dream started a long time ago. I always, used, I always knew I'd want to live in a home that I owned. Um, it's funny, but I never knew I wanted to own a home. I knew that I wanted to live in a home that I owned. Um, so that gives you security. Yes, it does. It absolutely does. And I think that's, that's it for anybody who has children. It's about security, knowing that you have a place that your children can call home. So that's how my journey um, started off. So it was a difficult uh, journey in terms of um, finding what worked for me. Um, I looked at about, I want to say about 26, 27 different houses wow. when I was looking. So what made this tick? <laughs> That's, it, it's, it's actually pretty interesting because the, when I initially came to see a house in this development, uh, I didn't see this house. Mm -hmm. I saw my next door neighbor's house mm -hmm. and uh, that's the house I wanted to buy. And uh, that's the house I even made an offer on. And um, I actually walked in and fell completely in love with this home. Um, there was just something about it in terms of uh, you know, it got me and I got it. Uh, I think you finally, got each other. Yes, we got each other. And buying a home again, it's a gut feel. Yes, it's a gut feel. It's yes, an absolute it's, gut feel. Yes. And, and I think maybe I can even tell it's a relationship yeah. because you're making a long term commitment. One of the biggest very financially. Big, yes, yes, a very big commitment that yes. you're making. So I saw the next door house um, and then my offer was not what the, the sellers um, were looking for. So I lost out on it. And I remember feeling, oh. out of all these homes I've seen, this is the one that I really thought was my home. Um, and then I remember just a few days after that offer um, went off the table, uh, getting a phone call uh, from somebody who um, knew me because um, through a fellow professional and telling me that, oh, I had you interested in a house in this court, there's one available. It was completely providence, I think it was absolute providence because a house that I finally fell in love with after seeing 26 something houses and then it goes off the table and then somebody else comes and says there's one available in the same court so um, I came and I saw the house I loved See, it this is it this was it wow I'm a home owner uh, somewhere in Kilelesho and um, the way I got that uh, property is through what we call uh, off-plan. I was looking through the newspaper and I found that property and I, I was like, hey, I'm interested. I followed up to see what they have done elsewhere. And since it was an off-plan thing, then I decided to commit myself. And uh, the reason being, when you're, you're a homeowner, or rather when you uh, take a mortgage or you know the money that you are supposed to pay for rent you know I take it like it's money that you flush out if you are not paying a mortgage yeah people might be discouraged maybe you are going to to do it for 25 years it's okay because that house at the end of it all will be yours there are those people who have rented a house for more than the 25 years and it does not belong to them when I went through the company and I saw they are genuine people and well, I, I just decided to invest with them and I'm telling you currently I'm not even in debt <laughs> not even I did not take even 25 years I took less than six years to finish up yeah, I'm happy and uh, you know, as uh, there is a time I used to see people being auctioned, yeah, you have not paid the rent for three months and you are auctioned, I, I would feel very bad. But I believe even the banks nowadays are very considerate. If you have some arrears, they will give you a month or two to clear up and I mean, you are working it out to see that you own that home. So I would encourage everyone to, to be a homeowner and it is very easy. It has been a good experience. You sleep nicely. 
Yeah, you just look if you have ugali and uh, today with uh, with boga, that's enough for you. At least you have your own home and you are happy about it. Would you like to share tips on how you conquered your home ownership journey? Just give us a call and I'll be at your doorstep. Finally, a snippet on other investment opportunities available in the market, courtesy First Avenue, your real estate partner. Nyayo Estate Apartments. The house is located in Nyayo Estate, Embakasi, which is very close to the airport and shopping malls. Accommodation includes spacious sitting area, dining area, fitted kitchen top and bottom cabinets, a pantry area for extra storage, splash area with concrete sink unit, master bedroom with inbuilt wardrobes and a bathtub, a common washroom with a toilet and bathtub. Royal Gates is a gated community located in Acacia, four kilometers from Kitangela town. This development consists of 78 four-bedroom detached townhouses. Amenities include a spacious lounge with a separate dining area, modern kitchen fitted with quality appliances and ample storage space, master ensuite bedroom with inbuilt wardrobes and a bathtub, an ensuite guest bedroom, two additional bedrooms with a common bathroom, internet ready as well as a centralized TV port. Other features include detached ensuite DSQ with ample wash area, two parking slots per house, a swimming pool, a fully equipped gym, borehole and wastewater recycling system, private gardens, children's playground, CCTV cameras, electric fence and perimeter walls for security, street lighting, solar power and cabra paved driveway. Live, work and play is the holistic definition of Greenwood City Mall, a mixed-use development in prime Meru Town. Set on six acres of land, the mall will be home for both local and international brands, creating a center of a new retail phenomenon. This project boasts of a 160,000 square feet mall and 16,000 square meters of office spaces. Key features will include a 30,000 square meter retail with a supermarket, grade A office spaces, banking and ATM spaces, community facilities, movie theaters, agro centers, food court, eateries, exhibition spaces, arcade, gym and spa. Other amenities will include 24-7 security, backup power generator, service elevators, manicured gardens, ample parking spaces, children's play area. Greenwood City Mall is your ultimate destination and expected completion is in December 2022.
Avenue, our real estate arm, we provide support to buyers as well as plot owners looking to build their dream homes. Just visit our offices or drop us a line and we'll be happy to engage. Thank you for watching The Property Show. That's it for today. We'll be back next week with more prime properties, investment opportunities, interior decor trends, inspiring nuggets on getting onto the property ladder, events shaping the real estate sector, and so much more. My shoot location is our property show and First Avenue offices. Our digital platforms are open. Let's interact. Send in your questions, comments. You can also book our calendar to view any of the projects featured today. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri. Crown Paints. If you like it, crown it.